Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1278. If you want to download this workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a straightforward task. We need to extract color from the description. So here we need to take the word blue and put it here. Purple, put it here. Green, and put it here. Now, I've done other videos on this topic, but usually they're buried within a bunch of other concepts. So we're going to keep it simple here. That's the only task we have here. Here is our list of possible colors. Now, guess what? We need to look up all of these within there. So we're going to use the search function. Now, the search function tells you the position of a subtext string, like the color blue within a larger text string. So if you count, one, two, three, four. So blue starts at the ninth position. Now, search is not case sensitive. This person tried to do fine, which would be fine, but I want to find either big blue or little blue. So in this fine text, guess what? Since there's a bunch of colors, I'm going to give it a bunch of possible things to find. F4 to lock it. Now, fine text is expecting a single item. We gave it a bunch of items. So it'll actually look for each one of these, and search will spit out the answer for each one of these. Now we say comma and the within text. Hey, I'm looking within that single cell reference. Close parentheses. And I want to evaluate this using the F9 key to see what it delivers. This is an array of errors. And there's our position of the color blue, 9. Now notice two things about this. The dimensions of this are the same size as all possible colors. So the relative position 1, 2 of that 9 tells us which item to look up over here. The second thing is that if we're going to look up the 9 to get the position and then find this, we need a lookup value. So Control-Z, I'm going to use the lookup function for a couple reasons. One is it does approximate match, which is what we want to do. And it will handle array operations like this without any special keystroke. Now remember, the search is delivering a position of a subtext string like blue from this larger text string. But get this, the text is coming from a cell. So the lookup value, I'm going to give it some big number. That way, because lookup does approximate match, it'll always find the last one. In our case, there'll always only be one. And guess what? The lookup value is going to be 2 caret 15, which is one more than the most number of characters allowed in a cell. So it's a sufficiently big number to always find wherever that number is in this array. Now, lookup vector for lookup tells the lookup function the relative position. Remember, we found blue, which was position 9. And in that array, it was the second position. Lookup vector will tell lookup, hey, find the second item, comma, within the result vector. Highlight that in F4, and that will work. Close parentheses, Control, Enter. Double click and send it down. Now, if there's no color, it'll give us an NA, which is what we want. If you wanted to get rid of it, you could use some sort of if or if error, or if NA. Hey, in this video, we just saw simply how to extract the color from a description. All right, we'll see you next video.